Hi, chat. Welcome to the podcast for the ma first Masters Top 8. It is your host, Zahn, and I am here with our reoccurring guest, Interitus, and local stack guy. Hello, thank you for having me. Hello, yes. Uh, we had a very eventful Top 8, that's for sure. Those games were crazy. Oh yeah, they were really nice. Uh, there was a lot of teams who really just showed up for most of the uh, tournament. Yep. And with the top eight being as good as it was, I had to beef up the the podcast quality. So I, and along with some other uh, some other really good people, made some uh, visuals for the stream. Let me get that pulled up. This will start lackluster, but this is important for now. Um, these way these these uh, slides are handled. They be try to be as easy to read as possible. Red teams start on started on attack. Blue teams start on defense. If they have an asterisk in the name, that means that they were subbing in for a team. Uh, I will also link these in the stream chat. For anyone that wants to view, um, each game will have the tracker link in the bottom left of the slide, and each of the bands are in chronological order. Left to right for attackers, right to left for defenders. Um, I would love to give a special thanks to Interitus for making a data tool for me to use to just copy paste these easily. Uh, thanks to Just Tired for helping me fill in these slides last minute. Thank you, really. And Mini Moss, Tired, Penguin, and Sierra for helping me get the designs of these slides down. If you guys have any comments about the slides or like criticisms at me in Unreal Leagues, I want these to be as good as possible. All right. And with that, let's get started. With the first match of the top eights, one tap copium versus Lunk Squad, thirteen to six, on Icebox. I wasn't expect I was expecting it to be closer. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yeah. Um, well, so part of the problem was the fact that they had the sub. You gotta remember. Yeah. Um, don't get me wrong. Concrete's really good. Concrete's on my team. Um, there's a reason I chose concrete, but it's super hard with a sub, just to be able to play. Yeah, because yeah, they because yeah. someone in stream chat overslept their game. Oh my god! <laughs> I remember oh, that game. I gotta funny. call it hoy. <laughs> I gotta call it hoy. Um, I mean, they still had a really good performance, even though uh, they ran into Icebox, which I believe is one of their weaker maps. Ah, uh, I, I would believe so. It's definitely one type one type one type copian's better maps, considering the chamber yeah. uh, chat on chamber. I was surprised to see them not take it towards Breeze. Um, I'd seen them, I had actually scrimmed with them once um, on Breeze and they did a pretty good job on it. So I'm kind of surprised they didn't take it there, but uh, I haven't seen a whole lot of Copium's Icebox. I don't think they've shown it before this, honestly. Uh, yeah, I think this was the first time. I'd have to look back. Yeah, I I, I believe it's their first time. If, if they ran it during the Swiss stages, then I have no idea. I don't think they did. But yeah, Hayden going crazy with his 392 ACS and 3 0 first uh, engagements. That's crazy. <laughs> Dude, like Hayden and Chad were just, like, Hayden, Chad, and Penguin are just mowing through their initial picks and just getting onto site easily. Like, they 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 lost his long five, five rounds and then just hard read them, I guess. Yeah, and getting that 3 0 in the first KD is wild making sure that you're you're not getting traded or you're not letting them get their first picks is really important um they kind of struggled overall uh they went what what's that uh eight and ten nine and ten um so they did go yeah. negative on the first kills uh but having your entry be positive is really important yeah if i had to guess a lot of the first uh first deaths were probably in the middle of um entering on a site one of them died ha having to die first and then they got immediately traded especially since chad and Li chad and hayden both have a eight, uh, eight first kills by themselves and the rest are resident for hayden like for some reason all all out their first death so i'm guessing it's just entry entry dying uh yeah i believe it was yeah. Oh, you can cope all you want. <laughs> but I mean, obviously, obviously, we got to talk about the elephant in the room. Hayden dropping an almost 400 ACS. Right? Like, what is this man's on? Like, they showed up to this tournament hard. 
Um, oh, it is not their first time playing Icebox. It is not, really. No, they played Icebox Swiss round two and three during the draft kickoff before this. And they won both of them. 13-10, 13-5. I'm assuming those weren't streamed then? Uh, Wurble and Ray? I don't believe so, no. Okay, yeah, then. That makes sense. <clears throat> they weren't on the board. No. Or at least seen on the board for being good at Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, with that, let's get to the second game. Tinfoil Rex versus Silly Little Oppers on Ascent 10 to 13. I think this is the first upset, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Um, I I don't know. Because I don't. this wasn't a stream game, so we didn't actually get to watch it. Um, this one? All, it, the, all, all the top eight were streamed. Oh, you're right. You're right. I'm thinking of yeah. uh, Swiss. I don't know. Brain, brain part a little bit. Um, I don't remember a lot of whole, whole lot of this game. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to remember it myself. It just, I remember Tinfoil Rex getting like being really hard for them to get these retakes out, and Silly Little Opera just being like getting the bomb down immediately and just holding for them. Well, it looks like they just struggled with their defense off. Yeah. They only got two rounds on defense. Oh, yeah, we have two rounds off. Yeah. It just seems like they couldn't hold... Like, it's like they, they won the majority of the rounds on attack, but just, they just couldn't get the ones they needed. These are yeah, fun. I mean, not winning uh, Ascent defense is... It's, I don't know if I'd say telling, um, but it's, it, ooh, that's a nice skill from, um, but, uh, it, it's, it's, it's rough. Um, it kind of shows a lot of your, your weaknesses. Um, it looks like, at least from the clips, um, on attack, uh, they were getting a lot of opening deaths on TRX's side. Oof, that's a rough one. Uh, and it's just, it's hard, especially on a sim, uh, if they're able to get that first kill and get kind of break down your structure to be able to bring it back. Um, you have to re reframe yourself um, and get ready for it. And if you have the slowdown, like it looks like uh, Slow had, it's just really rough to win those attack rounds. You can't show the Stewart clip now! <laughs> So rude. That's so the rude. Clip. That's so rude. <laughs> that's that, no, no, that's necessary. That was a very important part of that game. Very, very important. All right, yeah. Like it just seemed like heck. Echo Healy and uh, frame data just pops popped off. Five and two on Echo Healy for first engagement to four and three on frame data. Ultra also having four and one as the gecko is crazy to me. And you it know what the confusing like, yeah. thing is. This is the fifth time they've played Ascent, and also the first time they've lost it. Really? 13-8 versus Kit, 13-11 versus Wad, 16-14 versus FRG, and 13-10 against Rat. Wow. I guess... I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say counter shouting, but I guess they just weren't used to Slow's uh, playstyle on it. I mean, um, Slow's always had a pretty strong attack, um, especially with the coaching coming from Booge. And so, letting getting that, what was it, like 8 4 lead? Was it, uh, yeah, 8 4 lead. Yeah, eight four. Yep. And then going into the attack half on Slow, like they're gonna start redemption. They get six in a row, with two of them being the bomb exploding, the rest of them are just them killing them. Um, it, I don't know if it was like a, them just shooting. Um, you didn't actually prep it at all? No. Yeah. Oh my god. That's... I wouldn't take that disrespect, personally. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, it just seemed like they had a prey cell that TRX wasn't... wasn't ready for. It seemed like all TRX just themselves are just probably not doing too well. Uh, the steward's getting clipped forever now. Poor right. steward. Stewart. Stewart. He's never gonna live it down. It's such He's a never bad living that down. It's such a bad win. <laughs> All, right. All right, let's head to the third match. Not all Yoru versus Elevators on Sunset 13 8. I, I don't <laughs> think this was the upset that everyone thinks it is. 
Um, while it was crazy that they had uh, two subs and they still won, they had Vi subbing. Like, was, everyone who watched that game remembers Vi absolutely stopping. Like, come on, man. You're trading Kip over yeah. Vi. Nothing of value has been lost there. <laughs> <laughs> like, Vi is so fucking cracked. If anything, you're getting, you're, you're gaining, uh, <laughs> you're gaining Philos. You win without the subs? I mean... Alright, alright, Epo. <laughs> Whatever you say. I mean, I believe, I, I believe you, I still think you win this matchup with your base roster, but like, you know, you, you don't gotta say that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Vi dropping 31 and 8, 359 ACS. Captain Neon pulling through with 328 ACS. 7 to 4 first engagements. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean that's that's a big one, especially on like uh, a map like Sunset, where you run into these chokes on A and B. Um, getting through it without dying first is really crucial. Um If I remember correctly, they were abusing glues, uh trips that game they probably were, they were clearing it pretty much every time um and so they were kind of struggling to really slow them down on on the b side whenever they yeah were. neon is probably like the biggest abuser of cypher trips if you time i don't think many people actually know this if you time neon dash correctly you can dash under trips like head high yeah. trips yeah, yeah, yeah and i feel like not enough people I don't know if Neon made specifically you even abuse that sometimes. You were just playing off B, yeah. You're playing off B? Wait, you had strong side B? I I mean a lot of people will play Um weak side A and retake it. Wait, wait, wait. Glue, do you mean you were playing strong side A and playing off site B? Or Okay. I mean when you're you're funny gets by who's playing smokes, it's kinda hard to retake. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, Captain Neon getting <laughs> every kill. Of Neon. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no one can deal with this shit, man. No one can deal with this shit. Yeah. Strong <laughs> off B. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought it was. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But you have to understand, thirty-one kills and only one of them was a first kill, which means they were getting really strong impact later in the round. Yep. And they didn't even have the biggest cast. Pixel had the biggest cast. <laughs> but I was probably just uh, getting a lot of a lot of trades off of Neon and probably getting a lot off of um, uh, post plant because their their attack looks really strong. Like they got the they got the plant down and then they kept it down. Vi was on it that game. Yeah, no. Um, Pixel or Pixel? Yeah, yeah. Pixel playing Sova and Sunset. Um, if you're playing it properly and you have the lineups for it, it's really strong. You'll yep. see a lot of, like, uh, fades and stuff, but if you can get a good Sova, it's real strong. Yeah, here you go. They put Vi getting the 1v2 clutch to win out the bonus round. That's... This <laughs> is God. I, I, how did they win? How did he get that there? Yeah. All right. Let's with that. Let's get to shut up, hippo. Let's get to the next game. <laughs> Super Cats versus Mini Val Team, four to thirteen on a sunset. <laughs> this neon was an issue. But this neon, I'm gonna be really here. This as this match was stopped. I I will admit, yeah. neon was an issue for our team. Um. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I I think the fact that you're letting a team that only has four round wins get a 94% cast on their duelist is crazy. <laughs> Neon was an issue. Celebi went hard as a sub. Uh, the slide is incorrect, by the way, for the people that are watching. Celebi is the sub. Jap Juan is the base roster. Yeah. I am an idiot. Um, yeah, no, having a sub to have a 94% cast in 20 and 15... <laughs> they immediately just show a clip of Mickey shit on. I felt kind of bad for this game. Like, I, I obviously I was I was rooting for MVP. Uh, everyone everyone who watched knows. Um, <laughs> but it felt hard to watch. It felt so hard yeah. to watch. <laughs> we just uh, our, our, we have I'll leak I'll leak scrim bugs. We have a lot of sunset scrims. 
Yeah, take them to split. <laughs> yeah, take them to split, yep. Yeah, Whether. don't ban you... split first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, let's guess, play, what I'm, it's... guess what I'm looking at for that one. <laughs> let's play a whole split. Let's play split with all of our zero scrims. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, y'all have the whole, y'all have the whole, uh, <laughs> we just don't play this map. Literally, we just don't play the map. You were duelist? Wait, what? Wait. We didn't know our comp used until... You were, you were... Next. Omen, what do you mean? Oh, oh, oh as far as going God. in, you were duelist. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh. I thought you I thought you meant... <laughs> That's funny. There was a miss. Uh, <laughs> Lydia, no. That is... That is rough. That is rough. That's hard. That's so rough. <laughs> You know, this is why you have a uh, you have a server, so you don't have miscoms. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you do. You didn't have one before the game. <laughs> hey, you got into super sub. Oh, you did? Wait, no, I swear you posted that. Uh... Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Still at all comms. <laughs> no, I thought you were still using the group comms or the group uh, chat. Oh, uh, yeah, see, we have both. We have both. We we made a group chat at first, and I was like, this is just way too chaotic. <laughs> we, I mean, that's what we did. We had, a, we had a group chat, like, when forming the team, and then we had the team and got to the server. Yeah, we played... Yeah, yeah, you're right. MVT does incite change in growth, because we played MVT on Lotus, and then realized we're banning Lotus. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> partially. Oh, I, that was oh, partially the reason, but... <laughs> All right, let's let's get good into you. All right, this is the first map of the semifinals. One tap copian for silly little uppers, thirteen to seven on Lotus. I was this... kind of surprised this wasn't closer. I was also surprised this wasn't closer. Um, I, I will say having SLO being the team coach, getting team coach probably made it really easy to anti shot. But it kind of just looked like one tap copy and was just aiming better, like in general too. Like Hayden had four first um, first kills. <laughs> Goldmaster had five first kills. <laughs> Honestly, I think they were just playing it better. I think that That's, was simple. yeah. Um, there yeah. was a lot of like macro issues on the side of slow, which is weird because I know for sure that they've uh, prepped this that map. Uh, because it's, they've done it on stream with who? Uh, so, like, I'm pretty sure wait, they started defense. Uh, silly opera started yeah, defense. Yeah, they started yes. defense. Um, and like they did better on on their attack. Obviously, like you can see round wise, they got an extra round. Um, but their their defense is just so weak. That seaside is rough. Yeah, it's. Uh... I mean, y'all were getting abused on C. Yeah, so I playing Cipher on playing Cipher on C side is a unique issue because with the way it got changed, you either have to play for front side or just play full retake. Well, you can't really do much. It wasn't even that. They didn't have Cipher on C side. They had Gold playing A for most of the map. Gold was their sub. Uh, was Gold was playing Tropium. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, 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 I'm, oh, I'm talking, about the wrong side. I'm talking, I'm, I'm thinking the wrong side, I'm thinking, I'm thinking their, their attack side, um, yeah, all good, all good, it's been a long day, um, but yeah, no, I mean, it was just, they, they had a lot of issues on their, on their, uh, defense that just, like, they were, they were struggling to hold the sights, it was rough, yeah, like, like, this perfectly exemplifies it, they lost their buy round due to Ekahili getting trying to play for front sight and then dying and then getting the full sight and a gun. It's stuff like that. It's just unfortunate. The learn frame mistakes takes a move on. But yeah, Hayden, Hayden and Penguin both Hayden popped off. Yeah, Hayden and Penguin less than three C three hundred ACS at any point. Hayden? Yeah, I don't. I'd have to go through his stats and like pull his individual. I, games, but... I don't, I don't think he get. I think the only game he gets less than three hundred is the grand finals. I think. I'd, I'd have to look. Sure. I had, yeah, we, we'll see you here in a bit. <laughs> uh, with that, let's go into the next game. 
uh, map two of oh, yeah, map two of Montacopian versus Silly Little Oppers. It was uh, eight to three, eight to thir uh, thirteen on a sense. Hey, 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 and got less than 300 here. Oh, <laughs> the, yeah, the next yeah. game. The next game. He's still top frag, but he, he got less. <laughs> um, I mean, this was a closer one. Uh, a lot of the rounds were really close. Um, it could have gone either way, I think. This was definitely their stronger map over Lotus. Uh, the way yeah. they played it in that series, at least. It just seems like they struggle to close out a lot of rounds. Like, they'd have really good early and mid-rounding, and then their in-round was just rough. Yeah, playing post plant or getting like the yeah. very the very end of um retakes is it's hard. It it is hard, yeah. especially on uh, ascent. Playing re uh, post plant on ascent it can be really rough sometimes, and it's it just seems like there's it just seems like they lift sometimes. Unfortunately, not much you can. <laughs> yeah, like I, I, this game was super close. It just came down to clutches. If uh, Silly Little Opera just won a couple more clutches, it's kind of easily went to overtime. Oh, yep. <laughs> also mistakes like that. Yeah, I mean... They got the trade. Uh, also, but... also, Ultra going 1 in 5 in uh, opening picks is... Very unfortunate. Hard. Yeah. I mean... Yeah. You gotta you got make sure you're not giving up those, those openings. And, whew, I'm a little behind on the clips, but... Uh, frame data absolutely slamming hated when he swung that corner and then this oh yeah that play wine play yeah the Pretty wine nice. play was great on top of that uh diablo on, on defense diablo had uh b side on lockdown but it just wasn't enough <laughs> oh yeah pingo got the most bullshit kill in the entire tournament right there i completely forgot about that <laughs> oh right where he just shot him through the smoke yeah that was rough <laughs> that, that is probably the most bullshit kill in the entire tournament i will not lie <laughs> all right and with this one tap copy advances to grand finals and silly opera stop at semis let's go to the next series oh this game yep Mady's Vowel right. Team versus Nalo Yoru, map one on Breeze, 13 to 3. I will save this question for the interview, but I have a question for Hippo. <laughs> it has to be asked. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This, this game was um, interesting, to say the least. Um, it just seems like Nalo Yoru was not prepared for my team's super slow play. Like at all. <laughs> um, I mean, first off, you don't take MVT to Breeze. That's step one. <laughs> um, but like, I mean, 90% of this, a big part of Breeze is you just gotta shoot better than your teammates, or than your enemies, I mean. Um, and just tired, just kind of showed up. Yeah. He's just showing up all tournament, dude. He's oh, yeah, essentially no, like one or two, he's essentially first or second place in our team. Yeah. <laughs> You, you actually just never play MVT. That's actually just the strat. <laughs> yeah. The, I think the, It was... I think it's hard for teams to even, like, start counting shotting us because be, before before the Masters, we only played Lotus and Sunset. That was the only info teams had on us. <laughs> like, And even before this, when we played uh, Cap, we played Sunset, so it's not like teams had any, had any info that any of our other maps were going to be good. Like, <laughs> but yeah, it. I do think this game is a lot closer if Hippo and She were both there. I don't know. Granted, I don't think it's. I don't, I don't think it's that much closer. I don't think it's that much closer. Like you but had Vi. <laughs> you had Vi who was shooting before, and sure Vi wasn't shooting like they normally do, but. It just, it was, it was a slaughter fest. I, I felt bad watching it. <laughs> yeah, it was. A... And uh, I think Huge said it perfectly on the game itself. At least with my team, since we don't have to rely on any one person to just entry on the site, all of us are prepared to take first contact and be that entry person. Like, 
I think that helps a lot with our uh, really slow play that most teams are not going to be used to. Okay, and with that, let's get to map two, which is also a bit rough. Uh, not all Yoru versus Mini's battle team, six to thirteen on uh, Lotus. It was kind uh, of awesome. <laughs> Stop. Freeze Lotus, freeze Lotus. Come on, Nay. <laughs> Come on, you gotta know better. <laughs> like, okay, okay, I understand when. Uh, you let it be the decider. Like, that's fine. What do you mean? Oh, the KDAs are foot. I'm lucky. I will fix that later. <laughs> Look. No, it happens. It happens. It doesn't matter. Good. <laughs> it happens. It's fine. It's fine. For anyone watching, <laughs> the KDAs are flipped. The whole, all the stats are flipped. <laughs> all the stats except for ACS are flipped. <laughs> I meant to switch it back. No, FKD. <laughs> Wait, what is flipped? I think it's just. I think it's just and, the kills. Yeah, it's it's just KDA. Yeah, it's, it's literally just the KDA. I just didn't talk about that. God damn it. Whatever. For anyone watching, only the KDAs are swapped. Yeah, no, that's on you. Uh, wait, that is Zong, completely on me. You did not drop 31. Why does it say you dropped 31? Wait, did you? No. There's no way you dropped 31. No, you did. Wait, what? You're crazy. This is not two of freeze. You're not two of You're thinking of the wrong map. Wrong, oh, wrong, I'm looking, okay, no, no, oh, I'm looking at Grand Wrong series. Wrong series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah, looking yeah, at Grand Wrong. You're... My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. I'm leaking, I'm leaking. Oh my god. <laughs> my bad, my bad. I was looking at the wrong game. I forgot to drop it. <laughs> Anyways, Sierra and Tyler popped the fuck off on first engagements. I don't know what they were on that game, but they were popping. <laughs> like zero six and no tire was four and no maybe Moff didn't even have to get get on uh site he just they just kill people and you just go on like he just walked on sites also the then, uh <laughs> mini moth on the breakable that that was uh <laughs> that was a hard one for nay to get through yeah they just couldn't clear you clear 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 moth i mean <laughs> Yeah, it was just, it's oh, just a rough game for me. That was a really big... Okay, so I it, I wouldn't even, like, on that the one where Woodrow ulted C, I wouldn't even say, like, the ult itself was the biggest part of that. It was him turning around. He doesn't turn oh, around yeah. there to check. You lose. So I I calmed that. I actually calmed that. Did you? Okay. Um, yes. I, I When I, I died... I, what was it? I died early that round, and I remember calling that B was completely open. So I think they got. Oh no, they're showing the clip. Um, <laughs> and I think after he heard a footstep or two or cipher, so he turned around right after, right as I called it. Not the clip. Not the clip. That's that's foul. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Somebody already did the app mini mouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I would like to remind people, mini has been playing Rays for like two months now <laughs> two or three months now mini moss, it is... mini moss satchels like i do <laughs> <laughs> and i play uh cypher that back the <laughs> uh. <laughs> but yeah it just seems like they couldn't they couldn't handle our retakes at all in this like the second half of the our defense i mean i think it big part of it is y'all have better answers um y'all actually adjust a lot faster than the most teams do and so you're losing more rounds less <laughs> you're losing you're losing uh free rounds less um a lot yeah. of teams will have an advance answer eventually but they're losing a few rounds to do it and y'all are hey. good do a good job of doing it pretty fast correction we want them playing raise for one month exactly that's crazy <laughs> uh, I will say one one big portion of that for it comes to my team is we prac like we explicitly practice pre rounding. Yeah. To, to get as much info at uh, in as possible so that we can adapt faster. Yeah, they're nerds. They actually care. They want to win underfield. Imagine. Imagine. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> with that, let's start the ser the grand final series. The click is playing. 
All right. Uh, the the first... series where I stole 250,000 hooch bucks from Pooch. Right? That was great. <laughs> I forgot about that. Anyways. Mini Mods Val... Oh, yeah, Mini Mods Val team versus One Tap Copium on Ascent 13 to 10. I will leak this because I think it is hilarious. Um, where is it? I need to find the... Here you go, chat. I am... <laughs> Before the match, I got DM'd from Gold. Oh god. I didn't think I didn't think <laughs> about this in the moment, but apparently I took it personally. <laughs> apparently you did. Where's Gold? Is Gold here? I don't know if Gold's here, but Gold. like Gold just Adam, just Adam. Getting slandered. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jordan Seeker stuff. Wait, did I add the right gold? Okay, I did. Good dude. I hope you I did. Had I had to check. <laughs> I'm not pulling an amber and adding uh, all of gold. All of gold. <laughs> but yeah, I uh I uh took it personally apparently. <laughs> I didn't even take out the gold. I took it out of penguin. I was like nine and oh against penguin this match. <laughs> It was. It was a lot closer than it should have been. I will. I won't lie. Our, on yeah. our on our defense, we were not panicking per se, but our, our comms were not up to snuff during this like the first half of our defense. I gotta ask, honestly. What was that? What was the entry op? What was the point of that? Was that troll? The point of it was that mini monster got yet an op. Oh. I think. <laughs> <laughs> you lag? Uh-huh. Okay. You lag so uh -huh. hard you actually dashed in and <laughs> jumped. <laughs> jumped actually, we do a perfect switch dash. Uh-huh. <laughs> nice player. Yeah, I mean, Ascent's definitely not one of your best maps. Um from the way I've seen it, y'all play it? Nah, it, it's um, not. Which is weird, because usually it's one of teams' better maps, but I think... Ooh, you diffed him right there. Uh, <laughs> hopping next time we play. And then this one by Penguin was huge. Uh, that that double kill out of wine. Yeah. Like, y'all definitely needed to shut it down, which you did. Uh, it's the only reason you won that round, is because that third person got it. But they shouldn't have gotten that without getting cleared. Oh, you know, for, for sure. That's what I'm saying. Like our our comps near like at the second like this first half of defense, we're kind of getting muddied, and we fi we fixed it to uh, win it out at the end. But it's just like we shouldn't have been that close. Yeah, you made models right. We just needed to, to play more forehead. Honestly. <laughs> I would also like to point out the round where we, on our eco, we pushed them into their own spawn. <laughs> oh yeah, I do remember that one. We showed a little bit. Of, I did, we just saw a little bit of it. Uh, uh, we we were. <laughs> I don't know what happened that round. It just kind of happened. Y'all were given a lot of space that you shouldn't have been given. That was part of it. Um, that's definitely something I've seen with like playing yeah. with and against Cope. Uh, that they struggle with like denying space sometimes um, like Hayden's really good at taking space but they don't do great at denying it yeah it's our side, our side needs a lot of, like not a lot of work we just need to run it more and get more comfortable on it <laughs> I can I wouldn't I don't think I'll ever be able to pull off when I pulled off this match ever again <laughs> so we need to we definitely need to run it more <laughs> be Wait, Woodrow, weren't you plot at one point? Oh, obviously, we, but... When he signed up, you were plot three. Dang. Okay, okay, I see you. I see you. Imagine getting an ad. This I'm is why you subscribe ads. to the underfeel Twitch. Yep, subscribe and you won't get ads. Although the people, only people who are hearing us right now are the people who already. I have it. I have it turned down a little bit because I don't want you to hear my cat meowing behind me. 
<laughs> you know, try to keep it professional. <laughs> we can wait for the ad you were going for. Here, I got you, potato. No, that's not what I meant. Potato, what's your what's your Twitch? Yeah. Looking through. Let me look through the viewer list. <laughs> She's straight back to fucking buy him a sub. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what his thing is. I can't even do it because I don't know what his Twitch is. <laughs> That's amazing. Imagine not having your, your username. No. <laughs> no, no, you cannot. You cannot. No, I'm not just giving everyone a sub. Hi. I think Tired is the most sore winner I've ever seen. <laughs> She's got some words. Speak your truth. <laughs> all right, all right, go. Bye. <laughs> yeah, she's very loud. It's so loud. All right, anyways, let's see if let's see if all the things to the final match. <laughs> Uh, this is Mitty's Val team versus one tap Popian 13 to 4 on Breeze. I, it, it, yeah, it, Breeze happened. Honestly, <laughs> Mitty and Tire popped off. What is again. rule number one? <laughs> rule number one of playing against MVT you don't play it. Well, you don't play MVT, but rule two is you don't take it to Breeze. <laughs> You do not allow them to play Breeze. No, we're. I'm so glad pull, Breeze is out of the pool. <laughs> You're getting rid of free free maps for uh, MVT. It Breeze is an upset map. It's an upset map. <laughs> it, it, there's no chance that Hooch told someone that. That would be that would just be troll advice. I think he said that on stream. <laughs> Did he? I think That's he said troll that on advice. Stream. <laughs> I waited. I, I'll have you know. I waited till the the match started. And I was like, hey, by the way. They just dropped a 22 to 2 against uh, another team on Breeze. I watched that. I felt so bad for uh, who was it? It was start something that started with a P, I think. I don't remember. The the team that we faced. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, I don't know. If I should... uh, yeah, uh, controls, 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 chaos. Control chaos. Yeah, it was oh, control. Chaos. They already said it on stream, so it's fine. Yeah. And it, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I am was... leaking scrim bucks. I mean, it was already leaked on stream, so it's not like it matters at this point. <laughs> I'm leaking scrim bucks. Ban Breeze. That's your scrim bucks. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to ban it anymore. It's leaving. <laughs> uh, yeah, that that is that is true. Yeah, Webray got 22 and dude. It was it was yeah. brutal. I was watching it and I actually stopped watching at one point and I was like, there's just nothing to watch here. I'm just gonna practice uh my IGLing. So I was like <laughs> I was sitting muted and just like working on trying to figure out where they were. I was I was in that game watching Webbread. What, 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 you also, I was in their coach slot. I'm also the one who you faced. Yeah, well that too. <laughs> I was in I was in coach slot watching because I, I I showed up originally because someone, cough cough Sierra, was late to uh, the scrim, so they had to hit me up to sub. He, he slept through seven alarms. Seven alarms. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that, that sounds about right. That sounds like Sierra. Oh. <laughs> Resident sleeper. For real. I don't know. I think I would have cooked. You could have got rid of Sierra, honestly. For real. <laughs> but yeah, this match is unfortunate. I, I don't think... I think every time... There's no real way to prep Breeze against a very slow team unless you explicitly scrim it, but most people aren't scrimming a... You're, you aren't scrimming a team that's willing to play at the last 15 seconds of almost every round. <laughs> Breeze is just a heavy macro map. You have to understand the macro, and if you like are giving up a lot of space, it's just a, it's a matter of push and pull. Um, you have to make sure you have positive space, and if you just can't do that, you're just gonna lose. Unless you were just a yeah. better shooter. Yeah. 
I remember there was a round where I killed Penguin front sight. And my entire team was still A. Like, I, I was on B, I killed Penguin front sight B. My entire team was still A, and I broke uh, a Cypher trip and went towards Nest. And I managed to get the entire enemy team rotating off of me just getting one pick and breaking the trip. Yeah, they it, rotated a lot. It they was way too fast to rotate. It was just very unfortunate because you can tell they're not used to scrimming such a sl unbelievably slow team. I think I part of the thing <laughs> is, A, they didn't have Chad, um, and Chad is one of the reasons you're going to be taking Breeze there because of the uh, Cypher, or this, not Cypher, the Chamber. Chamber, yep. Um, and you're playing Breeze without your Chamber. Yeah, we were... I, I initially forgot that they had a sub going in, um, so I was expecting to play Icebox, and then I remember that Gold was in it. Goldmaster was something for Chad, and I was like, oh, right, no Icebox, because Cyclone and Icebox is meh at best. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know, it, it, it's just unfortunate, because I think, I think both games, the first map, I think with Chad, first map is a toss-up, with the, with the Chad, the second map is closer but we still win it does it does suck this is very cypher on cypher <sighs> yeah the, the funny part is cypher has a lot of tech on icebox but it's just kill tree is just so unbelievably better let me let me put it this way son i almost exclusively play cypher i do not play cypher on icebox Oh, I play Killjoy on Bitebox, yeah. I play a Killjoy. <laughs> I play Killjoy on Xbox, don't get me wrong. There was, like, no, cool... there was no thought at all that I'd play Cypher. Oh, yeah, no. there's some cool ass fuck tech on Icebox yeah. or Cypher. Yeah. Just doesn't matter. <laughs> Killjoy is just so much better. Yeah. All I'm going to say is that if that like gets buffed, she's probably going to be playing on Icebox. <laughs> That's if Icebox doesn't get removed from the pool next season. I mean,. I've always I'm been praying, open that praying. I've been open that I love Deadlock. She, that is, I just think that she fucking sucks. So if she could buff that all, I'm playing her. I just I think you gotta redo the kit. I mean, I mean, yeah. <laughs> the, 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 There's just no buff. Well, no, 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 you can do that can make it worse. Her her trips are inherently problematic because if you give them passive info, they're she is broken as hell. Hear me out. Just remove the middle orb on her wall, and she'll be fine. You have to break what? each one individually. Oh my god, that's evil. <laughs> you are evil. Imagine that. That would be horrible. <laughs> that would be horrible. Oh, that would be horrible. I would you suggest that? Because <laughs> I love playing Ice or playing Midluck. <laughs> Yeah, you just walk, catwalk. They're just never getting through. Yeah, that shouldn't take any passes for a part of my fight now. I don't know, Potato's on that team, so it may be an easy clear. Alright. Place the news. We don't know what the new map is. I'm actually curious. I don't think there's been any leaks at all about it. I think so. I think we are done with slides. Yeah, slides are slides are done. We can go back to yapping. Yapping. Let's go. What do you think? Do you think the new map is going to be like an underground map? Like. It was under run descent, descent, like the descent, uh, the whole under ascent. I don't know. Because, I mean, we already have Fracture who kind of has that. Well, because, because the, the, uh, the hint player card that we got, it was, uh, like descending down a hole. So there's, there's theories that it's going to be a underground indoors map. I would love that. Imagine, like, you get one, like, small area up top that you can go up and down, and you can, like, fight in there, and then a whole map underneath. That would be cool. That would be cool. Like, there's, like, little pockets you can go up and down. That would be... It'd be kind of a nightmare, 
Yeah, but no, yeah, get rid of lineups, please. Please get rid of the skybox. I, I don't need any more <laughs> Sova <laughs> lineups. No, 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 there's gonna be. You misunderstand. Uh, Sova nerds, as long as walls exist, Sova nerds will always make lineups. Get rid of all the walls. <laughs> oh, no walls. No ball walls. Or actually, you know what? Make it so that any time that a uh, <laughs> any time that uh, it hits a wall on that map, it just auto breaks. Oh my god! You have to hit the floor, and there's no skybox. You can't hit the ceiling either. It would break if you hit the ceiling as well. Ah. <laughs> Just absolutely kill Sova mates. Get rid of your lineups. Sova mains are in gambles crying. right now. Actively crying. <laughs> All right. So. Oh, I got that. All right. So, for the next segment, since we are done with the going over the matches, because there weren't that many, we will be conducting interviews with either the captains or a representative for each of the teams that actually responded to me, which is 7 out of 8. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah don't get yeah, yeah, some cheap to keep them on. So, we have Doge uh, here, <laughs> we have Doge here representing um, his team, TRX. Why is the clip playing? Wait, is Zonk asleep? Zonk's asleep? Crazy. Zonk is asleep, yes. They never responded to me. <laughs> they, they I think they're actually I, in the script right now. Look, I I messaged, I DM Dax. He never responded. That's on him. <laughs> Fair. Anyways. You got egoed. How are you doing, Dodge? Uh, I'm doing all right. It's been a good week. How do you like the finals? Like uh, the it, was a, it was a very fun watch. Um, it kind of sucks that we lost in the first round, but it was nice to watch the underpeel from a spectator's point of view. I especially liked how uh, Wuhujin was on the desk with Petflash. That was fun, yeah. yeah. It was nice to see the, the kind of color coming out from Huj. <laughs> Oh, hey, you have clips for Doge. That's nice. I didn't wasn't expecting that. Cool. All right. So, did you, were you were how much did you guys prepare going into the tournament? Did you um, do like any anti stratting or was it just general preparation? We tried to anti strat a little bit by watching some of the SLO coaching vods, but since we didn't play Lotus or Sunset, it was kind of not all that helpful. Um, going into Ascent, we mostly just tried to play our own game plan, but uh, as you saw on our defense, it kind of didn't really work. And I think that was mostly my fault, but that's just how things work out sometimes. Yeah, it happens. Some people just... Some, some things are messed up. You don't get expect certain things. It happens. Um, so I have a question for you, uh, Doge. Okay. So this is specifically talking about uh, coming from last season into this one. Obviously, y'all kept most of your team. Um, but now that you've lost two of the players and you've kind of changed them up, do you feel like it's been harder because you haven't had as much time together? You're just now kind of getting back to getting Gary and those new two players and kind of expecting them to do the same role. Um, has it been kind of rough getting into that? Um, going into the team, um, I honestly wasn't really sure what to expect. I hadn't really been following the underpeel up until that point, and I didn't know who I was replacing. Um, it was only later that I realized that I was replacing Sezora, who is a significantly better player. And um, I just kind of went into it um, trying to do my best to play the entry duelist role. And um, as we kept playing, I think the team started to mesh better. Uh, like the first, the first day of Swiss was not a very good day. Especially with the uh, the clear comms checks, um, we were fairly quiet. But as we played more games together, and especially on the second day uh, where we actually won the Swiss tournament, um, our level of communication and general team play got a lot better. I think. 
Okay, well, thank you for that. Um, and I have one more as well. Um, you don't have to answer this if you don't want to, but uh, when y'all actually won the Swiss um, during the weekend that you had the time off, did you actually play more or did you play less? Play, what do you mean by play more? Like, did you take the kind of weekend off because you weren't playing anyway? You'd, you'd been able to skip the uh, Swiss stage of the Masters and, like, actually scrim, or did you just take the weekend off and say, hey, here's a little bit of a break for y'all? Um, I think as a team, we generally took the week off. Um, we felt we felt pretty confident after winning the Swiss, which probably served uh, to orchestrate our downfall. <laughs> but <laughs> next time, we will be sure to continue to... Um, Hit some scrims then. Yeah, continue to play more, continue to develop the team play, especially um, we as a team, we should probably play more ranked as well, especially now that um, a lot of us are students and the summer is coming up. So hopefully we can continue to improve overall. <laughs> that sounds that sounds like what Minimok keeps telling me I need to play more ranked. Come on. <laughs> Dude, Buzz told me that and I went, I thought I played enough. Buzz went, you <laughs> never play anymore. I'm like, what? <laughs> so apparently I gotta get back into it too. Yeah. I really hope that you guys can uh get your coordination get together and start winning more. I want I want the revenge match, man. <laughs> Trust me, I do too. <laughs> Get a send it. Oh. Who do you think I am? <laughs> All right. With that, thank you, Doge, for your interview. And we will now be bringing in Lydia from Cats. <laughs> Welcome, Lydia. Hello. How was your weekend been? It's been fantastic. How was your weekend? It's it's been something. Works been it's definitely something. All right. Did you going into the tournament? Did, did you what, what game specifically were you like really hoping to watch or play in? I mean, I was hoping to watch MVT in the quarterfinals. Um, I really wanted to play them not in the quarterfinals, but I wanted <laughs> to play them. Um, I knew going into MVT was just definitively the best team. Um, that was not something I was questioning at all. Um, and I wanted to play them in a best of three, just because I think we get to show off our map pool a little bit more. And um, mm -hmm. maybe they'd mess up the the pick and ban and we get to play split. <laughs> um, it's not happening. <laughs> it wasn't going to happen. It's like, not but... playing split again. Oh, I know it's not. <laughs> um, but I could, I could hope. Um, I think, honestly, of the games I did get to watch, uh, TRX slow. I was really looking forward to that one, uh, and it and it was a banger. So, all right. Uh, okay. Uh, do you think you guys could have? Um, how much prep did you guys have going into the quarterfinals? Um, next to none. I will just say that. Um, I think we've, we've scrimmed maybe once. Um, I didn't mention this in stream chat. Um, the comp for the team comp was different and it had me on Duelist and I got changed when we went off, which um, was a switch up, but it, it happens. Um, I had looked at a, a few of MVT's VODs on Sunset and I was like, no, they, they did the same pistol both times. Surely they're going to do it a third time. Uh, they did not do it a third time. <laughs> uh, so they changed it up. Um, and I, they, they have a really good B flood. And I'm not a fan of playing into that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's something that... Uh, what was it? Our pistol change? Like, our defense pistol got changed. Literally the scrim before... Uh, the master started. I think it was literally that Thursday before. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm like, they're pushing A main, they got two on B, it's just free, we take it, we push into market, win the round, win the game. Nope. <laughs> like, like, we literally nope. changed it the day before. <laughs> we also were really slow in just doing anything. So, like, on our pistol, MVT was mostly already on B by the time we tapped bomb, so. Yeah. 
it, it was, it, it's a bit rough to play into, especially if you're not expecting it at all. You know what? I'm fine with it. It was some good practice. I came in, I said to the team, I said, either we win and we're the underdogs of the tournament and we're just proving ourselves, or we get some really good practice um, and some under points. And there, there's no lose here. But we're playing That's the right. best team. If we lose, it's an expected loss for most people. If we win, it's probably the win of the tournament. Oh yeah, it's the biggest upset for sure. Yeah, definitely if you were able to pull that off. All right, I developed this question just for you, Lydia. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm queuing that you can cue the copium. Do you think you would have done better if you had faced MVT first? If we had, or had? If you hadn't, you Absolutely. had a different seating. Absolutely. What would, how far do you think you would have gone if you had a different seating? Um, it depends. If we're on the opposite side as MVT, let's say you took Cope's spot. Let's say we took Cope's spot. You I think him in the grand, grand finals. finals. Yep. Do you? Okay. Yep. Do you think you could have won a best of three? I think so. Yes. Um, and I have a good reason. Go. So, um, due to unfortunate scheduling, our primary sub Jinx just can't play on Fridays at all. Um, and so we had a last minute sub with Sully, who performed fantastic. Um, but I will say. Um, seeing from our Swiss results, we play really good with Jinx, um, and I don't think MBT could have an answer to that squad. <laughs> well, sorry, I, I had to give you a little bit of copy of uh, <laughs> at the very least. Um, okay, so obviously, like uh, you didn't actually be weren't able to. Um, play most of the maps because you only played the one uh how much did you actually prep versus the one you played which i believe was you said sunset um yeah we didn't prep that much i won't lie um we played sunset we had an idea of a mm -hmm. few ideas uh we mostly bugged it we just mm -hmm. hadn't had time to book a scrim really at all uh we are trying to find one now so we actually are practicing now maybe we're gonna do win, win a few games but where's the dm where's, where's the dm the, where's the message yeah. why, why haven't i even asked that's crazy. It's literally in That's the Looking crazy. for Scrim channel as of an hour ago. I, so. I have it muted. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I also do, so. <laughs> yeah, uh, very, very little practice. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. I knew MPT going in. Mm -hmm. They were going to have some of the most prep, most coordination, most everything, except for first deaths, pretty much. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, and um, then... Obviously, you said that uh, if you had been in Copium, or yeah, if you had been in Copium's spot, you would have uh, probably gone further. Who do you think, if you were there, would have been your hardest matchup besides MBT, obviously? I'm I'm going to say not slow. Um, not? That's, that's not a, slow. That's I think, crazy. I think slow legitimately would have been one of the easier ones for us. <laughs> wild, <laughs> wild, really wild. Wild. So. <laughs> This is actually not coming entirely unfounded. We did play them on Lotus, um, which was a mess up in the draft by, on my part. But <laughs> I think like we we actually could have won that Lotus, mm -hmm. um, even though they were like mega prepped on that. And I'm just saying, T R X didn't look that good. The song have been and are asleep. So wow. <laughs> I mean, I, they they overslept this so. Yep. Who, who, who knows if they uh, continue over sleeping? I mean, they did win. Uh, no, they, they did get grand finals for uh, draft kickoff, though. So Did they I win? Mean, they, no. Exactly. <laughs> no. Did they make it past You didn't one win of... free, Reg, either. So. And? <laughs> um, and then uh, my final question. Uh, who was your hardest matchup during Swiss stage? Oh, during Swiss? I gotta go look. I don't remember who we played. I can tell you. Give me a second. No, I got it. I, I, I have it. Here it is. I found it. Staff skill versus staff player. Who gets it faster? Sir, Waz, Slow, EB, I found Rich. it. Um, I think you... So it you lost to Slow. Yeah, that was something Slow I was it? talking about. You lost to Slow? You're, you're trash talking a TV you lost to? That's crazy. I, I always had think I won that. It was a mis misdraft. Um, okay, I think okay. it was... Pr it, so it would have been race. I think mm -hmm. they were... I had a lot of DCs during that game, so it wasn't actually that close. But the copium. It would have been them. Um, I think of the ones who did play, it was slow. I mean, that was kind of expected. Um, 
on my end. Mm. That's gonna be slow. But like, that was so winnable, I won't lie. Uh -huh. 13 1 EV. That feels on, bad. Yeah, on Sunset, which is that actually feels... why we were willing to go Sunset into MVT. Hay went crazy that game. Oh, yeah. I always forget that Hay's Ascended. Because I, I, I mix up Hay with Hay. Hay's Ascended? Hay? Yeah, Hay? It's only recently ascended. Hay was Diamond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, it, I get, still. I mix up Hay and Hoy, too. <laughs> I mix up Hay and Hoy all the time, so I'm like, how is Hay Ascended? Like, oh, wait. Wrong person. Hay also doesn't play ranked like at all fair, fair. um he has a total of i can't do math here <laughs> 34 wins the entire episode Jeez. um that is rough. with a not horrible win rate overall but he just doesn't play which is really helpful when making a team and having your roster entirely be underrated oh i mean yeah uh especially when you're uh that far under and still performing well i mean you made top eight yep hey is i've said this before and i'll say it again i think hey is one of the best players in, in underfield and uh, i'll stand by that he still did win. i still think he's one of the best players <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, gotta throw, I gotta throw the slander <laughs> wait didn't you also like not make top eight we didn't play you still didn't make top eight though mm -hmm. You didn't make it through the normal way either. We didn't play that weekend. Didn't make top eight. That's a <laughs> we straight up just didn't couldn't play. It. You know, I won't tell you a, why. That's a skill issue. <laughs> it's you not a skill issue. It's a, it's a it's a it's a I had a life issue. I I'm just saying, stat boy not up. Stat boy is okay. not down. All right. I can't, I can't not wait up. for the I can't wait for the MDE versus cat game where we slam you. Take us a split. <laughs> okay, split right I'll now. take you to split. Oh, really? oh my god, oh my god. I don't, oh my. I don't know, that's, that's, I, well, I don't know, because I don't know if it's going to be in the poll. Can we schedule a show match for the MD, MD and, and Kat show on match? split? Show because we, can, we can scrim, we can scrim it. I have two scrim blocks in there right now. Well, uh, okay, guys, you can, just, you can just face each other this weekend. I'm well, next, week, next weekend. Oh, next yeah, weekend. I can't, I, I will, no, I, I don't have either of those available. I will be at a wedding. Ah, you're crazy. That's a problem. So that sounds like uh, <laughs> you're not willing to even face me. I I will not be at my computer. I hey, I was I'm I was saying next week. I was Sierra next week. brought a laptop and was going to play in the. I will the be office. actively at a racetrack, part so, of a wedding ceremony. I'm just. Saying, I do not want to. I will get yelled at really if I'm playing effort. Val. Instead. You're right. You're right. Let me hit up my friend and tell him that I'm skipping his wedding so that I can play Val. I mean, Sierra, right. Sierra was going to play at a Grand Prix, and so you're not going to play at a wedding when it's yeah, quieter, and you're playing a better right. reception? That's you're a right. problem, I won't lie. Yeah, yeah, while I'm part of the wedding party, I will actually pull out my laptop. I got you, don't worry. I mentioned losing I'll set that up the right wedding now. party, that's kind of crazy. I'm just not going to lose, though. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Lydia, for joining the interview. Thank you. <laughs> Our next interview candidate is going to be Eloy Vader's frog. Get them in here. <laughs> get them out of here. <laughs> I will get yelled at if I start an IGL during a wedding. Ooh. I got hey, like a Bluetooth up, headset in. How are you guys doing today? Oh, what's up? <laughs> well. <laughs> What is? How am I gonna follow that interview up? That's crazy. I know. Just how better hot takes, I guess. I just, I just gotta start slandering everybody, apparently. For real. <laughs> All right. Let's get the show on the road. Um, All right. Let's see. Did your team have any anti stratting for Nal Yoru going into it? Um, no. I know our team's been uh, one of the ones that at least it seemingly is more big on the anti strap but we actually kind of didn't have anything about not all yuru and we decided not to try and dig anything up because they were playing with two subs anyway so we figured it was more important to spend the time focusing on like ourselves as a team versus trying to go dig up some stuff on ne gotcha um do you think that your as far as as far as your team's coordination goes do you think you're sufficiently prepped for masters uh, for Masters, I would say no. Uh, the entire week after kickoff, we basically didn't do anything, didn't even really talk. Um, in part because a lot of us are students slash working jobs, so, um, and we had like finals and everything, so basically nobody was free at all that week. But 
I would say that we still were decently well put together, um, even though the prep was all just prep from prior to uh, the kick draft kickoff. Gotcha. Um, do you? What specifically do you think you're? I was, I was gonna say, be frank about it. What do you think you guys did specifically wrong during your game against Donald Yoru? Um, we didn't have a sub that dropped thirty-one kills. Oh, I'm just kidding, but um, <laughs> but uh, in reality, it probably came down to a trading issue, right? I mean, when you're playing against a team, I think we kind of slept on how uh well vi would be able to put up those numbers and so i think we weren't going into it in the mindset of playing versus a team with like a uh, player go kill kind of strategy right we were going into it with a lot more of a we're playing a team where we can take fair 50s and try and win those duels mm -hmm. yeah it, it the game did look a bit rough that you guys it looked like nog or you was playing the shape like not perfectly but a lot more coordinated together mm -hmm. and a lot of a lot of uh like i know you guys had mentioned earlier was like uh, a lot of those kills from vi were pretty heavy impact kills it wasn't like they were like popping off getting first kills and everything like that a lot of those were later in the rounds where yeah. the trade was really uh really important to come through on vi and it, a lot of them just missed yeah because vi only got like what one i think they went one and one in opening kills yeah, like they weren't. They weren't just hey, walking my ace. and killing people. Um, <laughs> oh, this was a oh, nice. That round is your ace. You. Yeah, 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 I forgot about that. That was a nice round from you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but yeah, I mean, part of it is just oh, nice ace. Um, it was just vi. Like <laughs> a lot of that game was just vi. I I mean. Pixel is also an incredible oh, yeah. player to pick up as a sub. Um, a Sobo one trick with, uh, I'm pretty sure, like hundreds of hours into the agent. Uh, it was, I, I, I won't say cool, but it was cool uh, seeing just how much like prep uh, Pixel had as a individual player. Just because I know they were one of the players I originally like had in my eyes going into the draft. And so it was uh, exciting to get the chance to play against them in the tournament. Um, and, and then, uh, ha so I've, I've been, I'm going to ask all three of the, uh, top four teams that automatically made it in. Um, oh. but I'm going to go ahead and get y your, your answer for this. Uh, how did you, did you take any extra time off, uh, since you didn't have to play the Swiss the weekend before? Um, yes, but not because we didn't have to play the Swiss. Like I said, um, we basically were all extremely busy that week leading into Masters and uh, right after kickoff. So we didn't really get the chance to work and prep a whole lot of stuff. But um, it wasn't really like, okay, we just won this. We want to take a break um, because we were going into it with the mindset that we still want to like try our hardest and practice and, you know, win the whole thing. But uh, unfortunately, with people's real lives and everything like that it just didn't work out that way um and then since obviously you were y'all ended up winning uh the draft kickoff uh the weekend two weekends before whatever, whatever the date was yep. um how did this kind of affect your mental going into masters one were you more confident do you felt like overconfident oh we were great um I, it was definitely a nice confidence boost, especially because like I know at least from the draft or whatever, a lot of teams like didn't see us as that crazy of a threat. But um, I will say that I, again, like the confidence boost was obviously there and it might have played a part in like being overly confident. But I think our team um, actually were really humble going into it. We were still expecting a, a hard match, right? And we were going to try our hardest out. but. I, I do think that the biggest thing was just that week off of uh, having a hard time uh, prepping and everything because of real life schedules. Yeah, I feel that. Um, and then I have to ask, because, you know, everyone wants to know, how is the five coaching going? <laughs> it's going great, actually. Um, I would say uh, we're focusing a lot on individual improvement. Um, we just had a player hit a mortal, uh, Garrett, who was oh, ascendant yeah. one when I drafted them, by the way. Blue. So yeah. from draft to now, he's ranked up from ascendant one to mortal. Uh, so going into the next tournament, he's gonna have that immortal buff. But we've also got uh, our player, um, our duelist, uh, Shu, 
who is up from plat 3 to diamond 2 now. And uh, I think in general, the idea of the individual coaching, um, the main idea was that we were going to try and get our team up and it, as individuals. And I think that's working out really well. Um, I will say <laughs> we, we also had one of our coaches rank up and hit a big milestone, just hit a immortal 3. So it's pretty exciting for them as well. Yeah, y'all are. I, I haven't updated it. The sheet's not not right. I haven't updated it. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is this is old. Yeah, no, no, so, these, these are old. <laughs> to, for some comparisons, um, right now I'll be uh, I'm at plat three. Um, Garrett's at immortal glue. Sorry, is at immortal now. Uh, Chase is still sitting, or Chase is ascendant two, I believe. Um, Andrew is or Shu is diamond two, and then uh, Bakari is bronze two at the moment. Um, yeah, so <laughs> Chase, I think, is uh, quite an underrated player. They literally don't play comp unless it's with one of us. Um, they they are, like, quite literally a pro in a different game. Like, so that's um, what I'm assuming they spend most of their time on. But uh, they actually have, uh, like, they actually have other things to do with their time. <laughs> Instead of playing, grinding out the Valorant comp. I mean... He's so based for that, though. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't. Uh, the game Hippo was asking in chat is World of Tanks. Uh, he's oh like my, one right, of one of the yeah. one of the right. top, one of the top NA players in World of Tanks. Does, does that take away from uh, Valorant timing? <laughs> I, I mean, Chase always uh, shows up in a nice, timely manner. So I, I think they do a good job of scheduling. If it does, I wouldn't know because they're always on time with everything. Um, but I imagine that um, it does cut into the time that they would spend playing comp, which isn't a problem because Chase shows up and uh, match MVPs our games anyway. So. <laughs> yeah, he's a. Uh... He's peak M2. Uh, yeah, Chase is a peak M2. Goaded at World of Tanks. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Is that all the questions you had in Teratus? Mm hmm. All right. All right. Thank, thank you for having me. For bit, thank you, Frog. For <laughs> wait, 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 wait. When are we getting uh, Chase to, to oh, stream wait, wait. us some World of Tanks? Stream. When are we as Andrew maybe going we can... to support him? Maybe I'll talk to Chase about uh, some community streams with uh, World yeah. of Tanks. Oh <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. All right. I will, Thank you for I having will me. I cast his World of Tanks. I'm so ready. Yeah, I, I don't. I know absolutely <laughs> nothing about the game though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's All great. Right. All right. Thank, Thank you for having me, guys. Yep, of course. All right. And with that, we will get the next uh, candidate, Brain Data. Hello, frame data. Mm, sorry. May I just begin by uh? Oh no, not the call out. <laughs> he's been holding it. He's been holding it in. G give Give me a moment, real quick. Three hundred fifty five ACS, twenty five kills, fourteen deaths, one point eight kill to death ratio. Those are the stats that I dropped on the sewer cats when we played on our Lotus game. I think it's a little bit silly to come onto the podcast when I can't say anything back and say the game felt winnable when I drop 1.8 KD. Listen, of course the game's winnable if you just shoot us, but like you didn't do that. You got all fragged by our silver player, okay? But hey, no, I'm just fucking with you though. That's a great team. He's a great player. But you know, how to throw that in there and make it a little more spicy next time we play, you know? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. It's okay. You at least uh, made it past quarterfinals. <laughs> yeah, true. That's uh, true. It's true. Although I feel like we definitely wouldn't have if we got placed against MVP like they did. So, like, I'm kind of, I, I feel sad for them. That's unfortunate. But are you going to take up the split? Are you going to take up the split? A split? I think everyone's just going to start banning. Hell split. no. <laughs> I will not be playing oh. Split. It's <laughs> <laughs> funny. All right. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> I had to. Oh, <laughs> it's pure content, man. I love this. No, I don't want to go to Split because I just my teammates don't have fun on that map. So you know, I just want to make sure I'm having a good old time. So real though. All right, let's get this started. <laughs> yeah. 
what did you think you did right going into uh, TRX, beating them 13-10, that you think you did, that you ended up doing, also did wrong going into one time Copium? Um, I think that's a good question. I think, well, to speak on like an individual level for me, I think that I played like pretty well in the TRX series. However, I played extremely poorly, especially in game one against one tap Copium. Kind of blame like that entire first game on my inability to like shoot their heads. I think like, I don't know, I felt a little bit of nerves um, like going into the semifinal. So I guess like in the quarterfinal, uh, my team and I, we were kind of just having fun um, playing whatever, you know, but once we made it to semis, I think at least speaking for myself, I was very nervous. So I guess uh, I wasn't able to calm my nerves in the semifinals, which I think was like a big detriment to the team. Do you think that affected your gameplay directly, or do you think it affected your, like, I would say your uh, comms with the rest of your team? I would say my mechanical ability was, like, most affected. Like, if you, I don't know, if you look at the stats from the first game that we played on Lotus, like, I just was not shooting back. Um, so, like, you know, I, it's a it was a little bit uncharacteristic for me, I think. Um, I think the rest of my team played uh, very well, though. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, sorry, go ahead. I was, I, it felt like the your game versus one top copium it could have easily just been I, I at least i feel it could have easily been one way or another if you guys had just won a couple more clutches it, like you, you could have bought either map to overtime yeah i i think like they were kind of just diffing us they felt like they were more coordinated um and definitely just like more calm and confident in their gameplay uh, which is like definitely something that we're going to be focusing on here in the next few weeks. Like we just want to play more together, uh, you know, like play some ranked, play some scrims, just like gel more as a team. So that, I think that's one thing that was like, uh, Copium's done like a really good job of overcoming this, but like something that a lot of the draft teams I think have had to face was like, they have a lot less time to yeah. learn to play as a team than the registered teams did. So yeah, um, yeah, no, I think we're, that's like the main thing we're going to be working on is just playing more together, you know? Uh, obviously, we'll try to get coached as much as we can by Hooge, blah, 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 but yeah, I think just more hours will help. All right. Awesome. Um, and then I guess my specific question has to do is I want to talk about the, the Swiss stage going into uh, Kickoff Masters. How do you feel about the like, seeding? Like, do you think you had a good seed? Obviously, you won 4-1. Uh, you won four of the five maps there, um, only losing to Sonk on Sunset, four to 13. Um, but for the rest of them, they were pretty much... Uh, easy wins i mean 13 9 13 8 13 10 being your hardest one against trx or sorry 13 7 not that was the uh, quarterfinals um but 13 7 being your hardest one um do you feel like it was an easy seed um honestly we didn't really even look at that going in um i i think in hindsight like yeah i don't think we had the most difficult time um obviously like I would have been a little bit more nervous if we were playing against like, uh, I guess, yeah, if we were playing as like MVT, right, for example, um, in Swiss, that would have been very difficult. If we had had to play Zonk early on, that may have killed our confidence. So I think, yeah, like the bracket was probably pretty nice to us. However, um, I don't know, like, I guess when we're playing, we don't really focus on seeding and stuff. Um, like, I, I think we were also the bottom seed going into mm -hmm. top eight. Uh, uh, yeah, I believe so, if I was like, remember correctly. Yeah, um, so like, yeah, I don't know, like, I think a big thing when SLO plays is like, we kind of just try to have fun with the game, like, every time before a game, I'll kind of just like, tell everyone, like, let's just have fun, if we're gonna lose, let's try to have fun losing, um, you know, I think at the end of the day, this league is mostly just for fun, so we try not to pay attention to the semantics too much and just play our game. Yeah, I think that's good, it's good kind of uh, mentality, um, and then talking about your ascent game versus trx um y'all kind of struggled in that first half i mean you ended up going eight down eight four and then brought it back what kind of changes did you make um was it just that you're better on defense or was it something you kind of actively made at halftime yeah so our first half we played defense i believe and i this is something i've kind of noticed uh, a trend of ours is like we, we used uh we we've been struggling on defense a lot in tournament so that's something that we've been working on um and we'll hopefully uh, improve on before the next tournament however uh i i think one big thing that you saw us do a lot on those ascent attack rounds is we would just play super slow 
um, TRX had the tendency to like give us early duels, especially on eco rounds. They would kind of telegraph where they were going. So we would just play super spread and wherever we saw aggression, we would kind of just go the other site. Um, we, like I said, we didn't really have any map prep going into Ascent that game. So we were kind of just playing reactively and trying to form our strategy around the other team. It's the same thing we tried to do against Copium. However, I think that like, they just were clearly like playing better than us at the time and were much more coordinated and so on. So yeah. All right, and then um, I know you had a kind of rough game against Cope in the semifinals. Uh, what kind of changes do you think, like looking back, you should have done in that game to, to help you win those? I don't know how to put it. Like, I don't, uh, I can't remember any specific rounds where I felt that like I played poorly in a, like in my headspace. Like my decision making was extremely bad. I'm sure there were some times, obviously, but not that I like remember right now. Um, but I was kind of just in the mode where I would see an enemy and I would just crouch for it. You know what I mean? I wasn't really uh, playing calm and collected like like you need to in order to actually tap people. So I think like I was just kind of playing poorly. I had an off uh, like, like an off day um, due to nerves, whatever, blah blah blah. It, it, like I said, it was like pretty uncharacteristically bad for me, and I'm not trying to like cope and say I could have beaten them if I was playing better, but. Um, yeah, I think I just need to play more tournament matches. I need to scrim more. I need to play in like high pressure environments so I can get over nerves like that and prevent that from happening in the future. Okay, well, that was well put. Um, and then finally for my last one, uh, are you securing more coaching slots from Hooch? Yeah, uh, our goal is to reserve the next available. I know, I'm, I think NAY has the next one down. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, we'll try to get as much coaching as we can in from Hooge. Obviously, he is uh, rooting for us, which was uh, <laughs> very funny when I saw that he changed his name to SLO Ruhujin for the first time. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, honestly, I don't think that helped the nerves either, though, when, he, when I knew he was watching me. Uh, yeah. That's funny. yeah, no, I mean, we'll, we'll do our best for coach, <laughs> but... Yeah, yeah, we'll try to get as much coaching in as we can. Um, I think it'll help us like expand our map pool. Obviously, like having two public coaching sessions has made it pretty difficult to play on the map that we want to play on. Um, but once we have like you know four or five even maps that we're prepped on, um, I think it's going to be a lot more difficult for teams to counter strat us or whatever they want to do in terms of like map bans or our play style. So. Yeah, I don't know. I think we're going to get a lot better as the season goes on, and coaching should be a big part of that. Cool. Well, thank you for uh, answering our questions. Yeah, of course. Thank you guys Thanks for, for having me. Here. Appreciate it. All right. And with that, our next guest is going to be the ever Zoomer Hippo. <laughs> hippo, I swear to God, you can say anything cringe. <laughs> uh, don't worry. I'm not going to do that. Don't worry about it. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So first things first. You and Streets were not present during these games. How yep. much do you think would have changed had you been there? Have you two? Okay. Been there? So obviously Vi is crazy and dropped a lot of kills. Right. But I feel like our overall like coordination is better when we have the main and obviously that's implied and i feel like a lot of kills i mean obviously vi had a couple of clutches but i feel like our trades are better our genuine like genuine like team play better i also feel like i could also pull same weight as vi uh, like when i'm locked in but yeah, it's just yeah. So, you you told me personally that you watched your team's vods back. Do you think that having the two subs uh, uh affected your team's uh coordination? Yeah, 100%. mostly comms. Hundred. Yeah, because usually I'm the one IGLing, and um, Vi was like Vi's first our team, obviously, so that hurts the IGLing. And like the play because we're not as, not as coordinated, but I think the general vibes were about the same. Like the vibes were still good, but yeah, I feel like our coordination would be a lot better because I know 
better the problems with each of my teammates and I'm able to corral them in game because I know those problems like more effectively than Vi can. Because basically Vi was IGLing. Um, Vi took the place of IGL as a sub mm -hmm. and didn't have the context of all the scrims and other games we played. So it kind of hurt us in that they were unable to uh, kind of rein in my team, basically. Gotcha, yeah. It just seems like, it seems like Vi dropped a lot. Do not get me wrong. He dropped a lot in IGL, yeah. but it just seems like the coordination wasn't particularly yeah. with the rest of them. Yeah, but basically I've gotten the team to just blankly follow any call. And like Vi even told me after that he was that she was surprised at just the how fast the calls were just listened to. But yeah, uh, like Street says, brain off, follow call, like that kind of stuff. Yeah. So I definitely feel like I definitely feel like the coordination was there and was good, but it's not like up to par with what what could have been if our main roster was there. And also, Street does a lot of mid rounding too. All right. You know I have to ask a hippo. Okay. What are you I, it, there's... <laughs> Why did you ban Split against MVT? But we didn't ban Split. Did we ban Split? You, yes, you, you banned ban split. split. You guys ban <laughs> Split against us. Wait. You ban that's, Split. That's oh. why you went Breeze. Wait, that's not what I told Sharkbait to do. <laughs> Wait. I need Is answers. <laughs> you first van split at shark bay are you trolling <laughs> <laughs> you banned split i told them i told them i don't know why i didn't listen to a scent i don't know i don't know why i didn't think of a scent for some oh, reason i was cool. thinking that breeze would be the oh, map let but, me let me find screen let me find the screenshot continue here continue i thought we banned icebox no. like we always do nope you banned split oh shit because why did you ban split? Bro, I yeah, even made it through that pre made agreement. We shook hands for you. Zon, we shook hands. I don't have We literally shook hands. Yeah, here, I, I got the screenshot. Did. I got the screenshot. I'm posting it in shook chat. We literally shook this was the day of we shook hands. I know. <laughs> we shook hands. <laughs> and I, I sent the emoji back. I sent the emoji back. What shark hilarious. What? Why did you ban Split? <laughs> We're supposed to ban Icebox. Hilarious. <laughs> there you go. Ooh. No, but ideally the map ban would have been Icebox, and then you guys ban Split. And then we... I think we should have picked you into Ascent, but we wanted to ban it. We wanted to go Breeze for some reason. I don't know why, we just forgot about Ascent. But uh, I feel like... I feel like we had a chance Ascent to win if we played Ascent. Just based off the scoreline of the Cope game. Mm -hmm. But, and I feel like then the Lotus game would have been a lot closer. Because I feel like the mental factor plays into the Lotus game. I feel like as when that first time out hit that you guys had, it, something just like fell apart. Mm -hmm. And we just lost a bunch of rounds in a row. Yeah, oh my, my, my team. Wait, <laughs> wait. I know what happened. Mm -hmm. I mistyped. The ban order in our server. <laughs> oh, oh, this is what happened. This explains all of it. This explains all of it. Oh my god. No, okay, so I trolled. So I trolled. Um, I, it, it didn't matter because it played out. I it played out the same way, basically. Oh, but they banned bind. Why would you do that? Nah, nah. I actually. Yeah, no, that was my. They but, banned Vine because they couldn't ban Split. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was a they don't like Vine. They don't really like that Vine. That was a miscalculation. <laughs> that was a miscalculation. I, I mistyped that completely. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I think that'll be a focus at our next team review, is to not type the, the pick bans. Um, <laughs> to properly type them? Properly type the pick bans. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. This is hilarious, because I'm pretty sure I was in a call with Sharkbait talking about this before as well. And I said it the right way. He followed the comm. It's just bad comms. He comms. followed the comm too hard. <laughs> nah. But, um... 
I'm glad anyway, we got to the bottom of this. I, I do think... <laughs> I do think if we don't go Breeze first map, the 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 best of three is way closer, and maybe even goes to map three. Like I, we might have even taken first map. I think you guys beat us on Lotus still, but I feel like if we win Ascent, we'd win Ascent. If I'm be real, you got we could only find Sunset vods, so we just prepped your Sunset, <laughs> and then it never got to that point. <laughs> yeah, I did not because you took him to Breeze. Yeah, because I took him to Breeze. <laughs> That is unfortunate. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, it, 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 I guess that is kind of, kind of a little bit on y'all not um, doing that. And then, what was the Lotus pick? Why, why are you picking Lotus into MVP? Is that like your strong one? Um, uh, we just strong. felt better about Lotus. Mm -hmm. If, if I was playing, we would have picked Vine, but mm -hmm. since we didn't have the Yoru, um, we didn't feel like playing Vine. So, and we thought our Lotus was good because we have done prep on Lotus, but it just didn't work out. Kind of just fell apart after the timeout. We had some momentum, and then they all just iced us. Yeah. Um. And then, obviously, you didn't get past um the semifinals. Do you feel like if you had been able to play those other maps? I mean, you said to yourself that you would have been uh, able to uh, probably win it. Um. But do you think it would have been that big of a factor? Um, or what? Uh, like a lot of the end game I, stuff. We probably we might have still lost to MVT. I feel like that game's literally a, a just fifty. Not really. I feel like it's sixty forty. MVT favored. MVT's very. Y'all are definitely very the strong, best. Yeah. Uh, the best team. Thank you. No, our bind is doo doo. That's propaganda. Don't listen to Street. It's propaganda. He's he's oh, trying to get you. You're throwing. Know, Hippo. He's I trying to get y'all into playing mine. I'm proud of our of our. Hippo right has. Hippo I'm was not. Hippo is Hippo trolling. Was not coach. Hippo was not coached on interview behavior at all. Uh, no. Nope. <laughs> Someone get this man. I want to be. Training. I want to be strong about our bind. Our bind is beautiful. I love our bind. <laughs> <laughs> um. And then finally, uh. How do you think the best of three format affected the way you approach bench? And did you like have to do more research or did you kind of oh, just our map pool was so terrible. <laughs> Before I realized like, oh my god, we have to play best of threes in the top eight. And that I I can and I, I kinda of locked in, thought of a bunch of stuff. But we're just um We're we're more talking about just uh just not really like map by map basis mm -hmm. macro, but just overall game like game macro, I guess. That's our focus. Mm -hmm. Um You can say what you will about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and finally, have y'all been like uh thinking of getting coaching or are you just gonna continue oh, like you think you already next, have? Next Tuesday. Oh right! I forgot. They did mention that you're getting you're getting hooch coaching. What are y'all uh, gonna oh, yeah, be? He already reserved it. He already reserved the slot I too. This. Yep. Um, what are y'all gonna be approaching during that? Like, what is the thing you're looking to improve during that session? Well, there's some. Um, we're gonna do some scrims on Monday, mm -hmm. and we're just gonna go over the scrim bots and just go over like general. Uh, Team coordination, just general team coordination, nothing too specific. Whatever Hooge deems like the biggest issue, because I'm not qualified to like fully figure that out. I wasn't sure if there was anything that you'd like known just off the top of your head. Like oh, I gotta. Nah, just general this. like overall okay. team cord. All right. Well, thank you for answering our questions. Yeah, thank you, Hippo, for being on stream and not being a complete and team. dropping stream decks. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Ah, I'm not leaking any. Nope. I don't care if y'all know this. I do not care. We will... You know what? Everyone has a plan until they're getting punched in the face. This true. is true. Mm. This is true. Can't, can't, can't break <laughs> beat that. Yep. <laughs> Just shoot good. All right. Thank you, Hippo, for being on the internet and getting interviewed. <laughs> now, you get to, now you get to answer to your own teammate, Sharkbait. All right. Yeah. Now we're going to get to the, the late team that never responded to me, uh, Zonk, with Dax. <laughs> the only team that sleeps in more than uh, Sierra. <laughs> Alright, Dax, I need to... Oh, you just never responded to my DM. <laughs> yeah, what's up What's up with you uh, egoing, Zon? That's crazy. <laughs> Come on, Dax. Are you egoing again? Oh, what am crazy. I egoing? 
Your ego exotic. They can hear you now. They can hear you now. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I've not slid into anyone's DMs. I don't know what you're talking about. Zod slid into your I, DMs. Yeah, I slid into your slid. DMs. Apparently, I slid over and the edge. Oh, yeah, man. yeah. Ah, yes, there it is from uh, yesterday at 6 4 p.m. that I definitely didn't see till right now because I don't check my DMs like almost ever. Oh my god. <laughs> Anyways. All right, let's, let's just. I'll just start with the hardest hitting question first. How how much do you think the a match result of your game versus one type copium changes if Hoy is there? One hundred percent. I think uh, I think we win that one. I'm not gonna lie. Like not even close, kind of win. Uh, I think it would have been close. Uh, like of course, like you're, you're facing like Penguin and and Chad and and the, you know they they got they definitely got shooters on their team. They they definitely got some some good shooters on their team. Um, but like when I can just say Hoy go kill and Hoy does some crazy shit and just goes kill, like it's 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 pretty nice. Um, you know we 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 were running with two subs that game. We were running with one sub the whole weekend, and we we were you know up and up until then we were four zero with the one sub. Um, but finding that that sub second sub you know 10, 10 minutes before our match um, was definitely rough with with no prep going in there. Um, and then obviously you know me switching from my my comfortable Sova pick onto playing Jet when I was had no prep really for for Jet. Just uh, it it didn't really uh, end well for us. Gotcha. I'm assuming that all the year, all your prep just kind of get through, got thrown out the window. When you yeah. Get this up. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We, we had we had we had default, you know, attack prep and all that kind of stuff of of throwing darts, dash, and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, I don't know any of that from from this role. So I was just kind of flying by the seat of my pants. And uh, yeah, I think it was just kind of ra uh, frazzling to uh, to try to find the sub and then hop right into a match. With the zero prep, never talked to our sub before. You know, three three <laughs> minutes before. Um, I mean, I, they told me find it, find one because it was being streamed. They couldn't move us, so I, I did a shout in in under peel leagues, and someone said I'm available, and I, I didn't know them. And I said, okay, sure. I need <laughs> I need a body is basically all I was thinking. Um, and you know, props them for stepping up and stepping in. But you know, when you don't prep with the team you're playing with, and then of course four of us don't have prep with this one person, um, that that is now playing a recon initiator, which is a pretty vital role in in a team comp. It's uh, yeah, it it just it doesn't work out sometimes. Gotcha. Yeah, it's just unfortunate because then obviously you didn't prep for prep for having a sub, so it's just no. I mean, so. I get to rat on Hoy. Hoy, don't <laughs> don't take naps before uh, uh Real. before Real. big Real. matches. <laughs> don't do that. All right. Or set more uh, alarms. Yeah, Tyre is a really good question. How was your transition into uh, recon? Because as far as I was aware, you were always a duelist man. Yes. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, I was always kind of just a run down and shoot people. But it, I don't know. It, it's been pretty easy, I guess. Um, it, it makes more sense for me in my head, kind of, to sit back and uh, like throw util and, and make some calls and, and calm more instead of just being fully focused on. Uh, like just crosshair focused the entire round, the entire game, not really calming. Um, so I don't know if you watch, like especially in the grand finals last season. If you, like, I watched back that vod like once or twice, and I barely calmed. Like I, I was killing people, obviously, but like, I, I wasn't, I wasn't talking. I, I was, I was there, head down, just shooting people. So kind of transferring over to a role that's much more, I don't want to say relaxed, but where I can, you know, stare at the mini map, make some comms, and just kind of guide the team more rather than just being solely focused on on shooting is is surprisingly been a very not want to say simple transition but it's it's coming a lot it's, better than i think it's intuitive to you yeah it's very intuitive rather than just um just staying on the the shooting role yeah. I, I don't like it but i i don't i don't like duelists myself i hate their kids and every time i play them it makes me want to vomit <laughs> i love just turning my brain off and just go yeah go i mean i could i mean we have we have kobas as our our main i'd say we don't really have an igl we're we're, we're, we're vibes we're, we're a vibe team you know different rounds it's different people are making calls you know we don't have just one mm. oh one person say all kind of team um but but generally kobas our smokes player is is the one who's like hey let's do this hey next round we did that it didn't work let's change it up um 
so it's kind of nice having him making all the calls not all the calls but all the, the important calls and then i can kind of look back and say hey you know we we did this a couple rounds ago and it worked really well let's do it again or you know hey i'm gonna do this weird thing we haven't done yet but we did practice it let's do that again um it's kind of nice to be able to kind of think not as much as an IGL, but more of kind of like a, a backseat gamer to the rest of the team. Jeff. Well, thank you. That was a, that was a very insightful answer. Um, <laughs> and then I want to talk about coming from the draft kickoff. Um, obviously, uh, as one of the draft teams, we um, were a registered didn't team. didn't have a whole... Wait, weren't you? Oh, we, pre -reg we, were, a, we were a pre registered team. We were like the 10th <laughs> oh tenth i'm mixing i'm team. mixing you up with a different team ignore me sorry uh i totally mix you up with a different team never mind uh well that killed that question because i was thinking you were i don't remember who i mixed you up with uh all right uh <laughs> that's funny um how do you think i guess i'll i'll, I'll ask this one I, I gave the same copium to uh um to cat how do you think it would have gone if uh, you had a different seating. Um, I don't know. Uh, personally, I th I think if we had the group we had on Saturday, right, and we we kind of came with all the same prep. Um, or was that Friday? Whatever the, the Swiss stage. We we of course you know we swept this the Swiss stage. We were thirteen. No one not thirteen. No, but like thirteen five and pretty much every team there. We I think we had a lot of the same momentum going into going into that round one. Um, and then of course everything's kind of got frazzled with, with the last minute sub and all that kind of stuff. Everyone on the team was just a little, a little mixed up. And of course we didn't perform as well. Um, and honestly, we, we weren't super like scared or worried about who we were going to play. Um, we, we were all fairly confident that whoever we were going to play, if the five of us were there, that we would have, uh, we would have won. We weren't really thinking about it, of, you know, who's going to be our teammate? How are we going to counter strat them? We we don't really counter strat any of the teams we play against. It's, it's you know, we guys go in there and, and just shoot better. Well, thank you. Um, and then, I guess, now that I know which team you actually are, <laughs> I'll have actual questions <laughs> for you. Um, Y'all obviously went 4-0 during the, uh, the Swiss stage going into Masters. Um, Y'all had a really good run. Was there like some kind of secret you had going into it, or you just like had Hoy just actually show up to a game? <laughs> Hoy showed up to a game. That's. <laughs> um, I mean, not not particularly. I don't think we really, you know, had this grand master plan of of you know, we're gonna run all these strats. We're gonna, you know, I think the, the biggest thing we did is is you know we have our good maps, we have our bad maps. So we were of course ban our bad maps. Um, generally, the ones that other people are screaming a lot, we try to ban. Um, like I don't know if you, if the the bans are public. We insta ban ascent because I think every other team, you know, that's like everyone's comfort pick because everyone knows how to play that map. Everyone's screamed it, played it, you know, a ton. Um, so we insta ban it, and hopefully we get put on a map that people, you know, haven't played as much. That's where like we know sunset, icebox, um, you know, some of these other ones that people you know don't scrim as much or haven't played as much, and we just try to you know play a better game on these weird off maps that aren't really you know maps that people want to play as their first map or their only map of a of a series cool well yeah i mean y'all obviously icebox split and sunset performed really well in it um yeah the i think the only one yeah the only one you've lost so far um other than obviously the quarterfinals was that ascent one yeah that um, ascent that first that one person. yeah and that one we're attributing that to a warm-up game We've all just said that okay. was a warm up game. <laughs> it was it was the first game of the entire underpeel. That's the only one we've lost besides this uh, top eight. Right. Yeah, I mean, and I'm attributing the top eight loss well. to uh, my star duelist not showing up. Always, <laughs> always blame Hoy. I'm blaming uh, Hoy. I mean, it, it's hard know, when, I mean, you're to when your when your team stop frag is just missing. <laughs> it's just gone. And it's like, hmm. are you are you <laughs> buying Hoy a alarm now? I should. I, sh I should buy him <laughs> one of those really old like wind up alarms that's really loud. So it, you gotta, you gotta get an alarm that it, he has to like solve a problem. To turn oh, it off. he would be so good at that. He he could do that in his sleep. Hoya, you gotta, you gotta find like, something uh, that like 
he has you know to what? like you know what they have they have, have you, i don't know if you've seen this um i saw like a i don't know if it's like a, a joke or whatever but there's a there's like a bed that shakes as an alarm yes there you go like i need to get him that like i'll just no, you, I'll ship you that get a to bed that'll throw him off the bed yeah just just chuck him just chuck him off the bed just like, <laughs> chuck him on chuck him into his uh chair 20 20 hard 20 bots, hard bots. <laughs> no he's got he's got to get in game before the alarm turns off true That's what, he's got a load of ballard and then the alarm will turn off what the shaking bed a shaking <laughs> i feel like that'd be so just that'd be like hilarious. unnerving especially for the first like few days you like first weeks i say if you having that imagine just like peacefully sleeping and all of a sudden you're like is, it, is there an earthquake i don't live in a state that has earthquakes but i'd think there'd be an earthquake <laughs> um, and then for my final question uh, what do y'all do to like prep your mental going into games um like you got any sort of like not not a whole lot like uh, my team I think uh, we're very blessed we don't you know we, we all have relatively good mental mm -hmm. um most of us don't get tilted that easily or at least don't show like we don't we don't rage all that much so, so there's a whole lot that we need to do and be like, hey, let's keep it positive. Let's keep it, you know, positive vibes. Keep it up. Like we, we do that anyway. Um, it's it's not much of something we need to like drill into, drill into anyone. No, no uh, rituals before games or anything like that. Not really. <laughs> uh, like we just, we just kind of we show up like 15 minutes before, run a couple DMs, and we're good to go. There you go. That's that's the way to take it. All right. Thank you for answering our questions. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you, Dex, for showing up. <laughs> this might not respond to my DM. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> missing you. I'll, I'll make sure to read the next one. All right. Thank you, Dax. All right. Great <laughs> TPK. <laughs> oh, All right. And with that, let's get in our next candidate. Uh, a Penguin, so, uh, representing one tap copium. Hello, hello. Hello. Oh, this wall. No, this bad. Okay, yeah. Okay. I yeah. was going to be very sad if you don't know who Wallace and Gromit are. No, I, I, I was just being dumb. All right. All right. Let's we'll get it started. Uh, <laughs> I don't know who Wallace and Gromit are. Oh, what? no. Oh, oh, no. I, I recognize Wallace and Gromit. Never, never mind. Never mind. Sorry, I, 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 I didn't watch it. It took me a second. It took me a second. fun of him. It took me a second. Okay. My memory is not the greatest. That's why, <laughs> this is why I'm good at numbers. I'm not good at... uh. Memory things. Memory games oh, suck. <laughs> How's the podcast been going? It, it, it's been a good, it's been a good podcast. The hiccups aside, it's 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 been a good episode. Yeah. This is actually probably one of our longest ones, isn't it? It, it, it is the longest one. <laughs> I'm just sad the the episode four is gone, lost to the void. <laughs> it's just it's just not existing. Yeah. Oh, we we just missed. Don't have it. No, we have it. I'm still yeah. looking at the crystal planet yet. Oh. <laughs> Okay. All right. That we lost it. It's up. It's up oh, now? it's up now. Oh, shit. Okay. Cool. okay, cool. All right. Let's get this interview started. First things first. Did y'all anti? Did y'all have it, uh, anti shot prep going into the grand finals? I mean, uh, the grand finals or semifinals? Both. Um, grand <laughs> finals was significantly less than against semis. Like the amount of anti strategy we did for SLO was. Probably too much. Really? <laughs> I like. I I hate to say it, but if you're gonna stream your coaching, um, I will use that against you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, oh, no. I, I, okay. <laughs> Uh, no, I will. I'm not gonna leak it. I'm not gonna leak it. There's there's tech for anti SLO stuff. Oh, that this I one. Share. Echo should have. <laughs> didn't hear you. I forgot about that one. Um. I will. I will say I'm a bit sad that you guys beat Silly Little Operas because we really wanted to beat them on Lotus for the ego check. Hey, we, we did you proud. Of you. <laughs> you did beat them on Lotus, so we got kind of got what we wanted. Is it too much crap to be on one? No, this true. Is true. This is true. All right. I think the the second big question is how I guess what were your mentals going into Breeze after losing the first map at Grand Finals? Map two, we were definitely pretty down. I think we we lost. Okay, 
the tiles pinch you did during ascent kind of broke the mental and we oh, almost no. brought it back like that was the round that i think if we won we would have took ascent i can see that yeah because i think that kind of reset <laughs> our money it put it into a weird buy and then we lost like the next two rounds after that or something Hold on, like, don't uh, quote me on that i just remember it was like after that round we 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 fumbled yeah, because we we run that eco, and then I believe the next the next yeah. uh, round we won the game. I believe, I'm pretty sure. I didn't. I, I'm extra sad because I call I called a separate strat, and I think I changed it to be in tiles after your timeout. Yeah, it was tough. Um, and then I guess. My first question, this was originally going to be to Zog because I thought it was them, but it's actually y'all who are the draft team that uh, came from uh, <laughs> yeah. the draft kickoff. Obviously, it was a little disappointing not winning um, the draft kickoff. What did you do to kind of reset and say, hey, this is what we're working on, this yada yada yada, going into this map, we have two weeks, this is what we're going to be prepping? Uh, for Wait, so draft kickoff? Draft going kickoff from draft kickoff. To... Yeah, yeah. Um, coming from draft kickoff, that kind of prep period between that and obviously you already knew you were playing Masters. Honestly, we didn't really do any prep for that. Oh, okay. I think we scrimmed like once uh -huh. between kickoff and um, the starter tourney. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. We haven't done that much prep. And you made it to grand finals again. Yeah. That's Admittedly, it's like I think we we would do crazy. more mm -hmm. prep and like scrims and stuff, but our everyone's schedules are super all over the place right now. So yeah, I feel that. Um, and then I guess what can you like attribute your success during this last tournament to? Like, what's the biggest thing you think that really kind of helped carry y'all through to grand finals? Um, honestly, we just had like we we are all vibing during the matches. Team comms during the matches are really strong. Everyone's sort of in sync going in. Mm -hmm. And um, I think, I don't know if you had comms for the timeout on Icebox. I think it was lost. Is like the. But basically, Chad just yelled at us to focus up and just go click on people, and we did. <laughs> the fuck did we ball timeout? <laughs> Legitimately, it was like. It was, it, I think the exact wording from Chad was. You are all better aimers than this enemy team. Go run at them and we'll win. And then we ran at them and then we won. So. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That works. Um, yeah. And then, obviously, with uh, your sub coming from gold, do you feel like you would have had a much better chance? Or do you think that y'all performed basically the same Chad versus gold? Um, I think the strats we would have ran would have been slightly different. Mm -hmm. Like, um, if Chad had been in, we would have taken you to Icebox, definitely. But the, yeah, the fact we were no, missing Chad right. made Icebox sort of an awkward pick, because Gold is a very strong Cypher player, but Cypher's weak on Icebox. How about, how about Breeze? I know I know. kind of a lot of people will say Chamber is really good on Breeze. Yeah, Chamber on Breeze is also very it. strong, but Breeze is one of the maps where we had... Uh, very little prep. I think we scrimmed it once against um, Kahuna's team. Us, my team. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We did. We did scrim against y'all on that yeah. one. I think um, you beat us on that map too. I don't even remember the score. It was. It was like something close. So I don't remember. 15, 10? I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember. We have. We had like zero prep for that map. Our goal was to win a set and then kind of like see if we can do anything on Breeze. Hmm. What do you think you could have changed in that Ascent game to, to help you win it? Um, the Ascent game? I think Other we could have than the Eco. <laughs> oh. Yeah. We, we definitely lost a couple of rounds with um, like people getting separated on retakes. I think we we either lost people to Lurks or um, like out of sync pushes. And then uh, we probably could have fight, fought for main more. I think we, we we gave we gave movement too much space. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I think movement. I talked about that a little bit before, like when we were talking about the games on. 
where y'all are really good at taking space, but it just when it comes down to actually holding it, it's a struggle. Uh, but you did really good on the wine side. Y'all had some really good plays off the wine. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for answering our questions today. All right. I know. We'll get you back for the next one. You know? you? Okay. okay. Well, we're looking forward to it. Hear that. Can't we got to get the full team for once. I don't think cool. we've had a, a single tourney where we've actually had like the full team for the majority of matches. <laughs> that's rough. Oh, yeah. It's rough. I don't know. I know the, that's that's not like a dig on subs. Our subs have been fucking crazy good. Uh, the, the subs, the, the subs in the this entire turn, like. Since the beginning of the season, I've all been crazy. Like, everyone's trying to compete for super sub status. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for the right. interview. Um, well, send it over to Mini, I guess. Yeah, thank you. All right, peace out. All right. And with our final interview, it'd be the captain of the team who won, uh, Mini. And he's deafened. Yo! There we go. How you doing? I'm good. How are you guys? It going great. Right. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna let Jared just take this over because it feels weird asking my own captain questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how do, you, how do you feel our team did during that? <laughs> um, so, I mean, I'm gonna start with uh, just the fact that, like, obviously, y'all just won. Congratulations. Um, thank I you. Thank you. You had some fun during the tournament. Um, are y'all going to take some time off, kind of a little bit of a mental break, or are you just going to keep chugging along till the champions? Um, I don't think we'll compete in any of the weeklies, but mm -hmm. we'll definitely be watching, and we've already started scrimming again since, so. So you scrimmed yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I knew, knew y'all were scrimming. Um, but then, so you are just completely just ignoring the, the weeklies, just kind of give yourself some, I guess, lifetime, uh, make sure y'all can actually do whatever you want on the weekends um and then i asked this question earlier but i think uh obviously y'all were playing the most games other than cope um both of you at the same how did uh, the best of three format affect the way that you approach bands uh not much we knew as long as we banned split we could take anybody on any map so we weren't really worried about uh the format or anything as long as we could ban split first before anybody could pick it we were chilling or if you get Nate banned for you. Well, yeah, it gets banned for us. I mean, <laughs> GG um, what you do. Yeah, I mean, obviously you can uh, just uh, win, I guess, is the kind of thing. Um, and then, I guess, before champions, obviously, because you, like you said, you're not playing those weekly tournaments. Um, if you get invited, I still don't know if we've decided on whether or not uh, y'all are just automatically getting in from top four, or I don't know how that's going to work for Masters 2. Um, I question may I may have slept over our the uh uh team meeting where we talked about that so oh that was gosh. that was a little bit on me <laughs> it would be the one talking I pulled I pulled a Sierra what can I say oh my if god we're, <laughs> if we're allowed to be there and we're invited we'll be there yeah okay so Just use it to you know get some but some I'm excited to it. see like who the next best team is gonna be you know because until somebody takes our spot they're always gonna be competing for second that's crazy so I'm <laughs> just excited to watch and how the teams develop and who comes out in front. Mm -hmm. So I'm very excited to watch because I want to know who's going to be coming for us. Okay, okay. Let's see that. Don't worry, MDE is coming for you. Kahuna is ready to farm. Um, I'm excited. But, yeah. I, think, uh, I welcome all yeah. challengers. I don't think it's going to go well for you guys, but, you know, <laughs> I welcome everybody who wants to take the chance. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll save that clip, but I'll, I'll send it over to him. Got to get the fire burden. <laughs> Um, <laughs> did you, I guess I've asked, I've asked, uh, E and TRX already, but did y'all take extra time off between Swiss, um, or between pre-reg and master Swiss because you didn't play either one of those? Um, did you take some extra time off or did you just continue kind of chugging along getting those, uh, scrims in? We might've taken a couple of days off, but, um, I think amongst all of us on the team, we're never really taking days off. Somebody's always like watching a VOD and thinking about how can we impl implement this into our games. And so, and especially Woodrow, you know, he's always giving me questions about maps and stuff. Yeah, dude, Woodrow, Woodrow is, I'll, I'll drop some screen books. Woodrow was hitting me up. It's like, hey, give me the bands. Let me know who they banned. 
Oh, I'll say it. Woodrow uh, made Skyrim reports on the semifinals and the grand finals, so. Oh, yeah, they were, whole ass, they were whole ass Google dogs. It was crazy. We knew, um, I believe against uh, Cope, mm -hmm. that they weren't very comfortable on Breeze. So even though we had the chance to take Lotus second, um, we knew that we wanted to take Breeze because we knew they weren't good on it. But how do you think the maps that you end up actually playing affected the outcome? Uh, I don't, I mean, I would pick any map. I mean, I'm not, I'm not worried about it. I, I think our odds are good right. against anybody. I mean, any well, map let's play, split, let's play so. split. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> let's play split. Come on. run. <laughs> split might be a coin toss, but that's funny. Um, and I guess I got my, my last one that I, uh, you know, I want to ask, um, how do you think you're seeding throughout the tournament? Um, the top eight, I guess kind of affected your outcome do you think you would have had it harder if you had played different people I think if they would have let us play every single team in the tournament we would have beat them all so <laughs> i'm really not i don't think where we got placed mattered i uh -huh. think no matter what nobody could have stopped us that tournament oh so you're already prepping to pick up that trophy for champions of course it's always been the plan when we made the team we knew like we have one goal in mind mm -hmm. and that's to win it all and not play trx in grand finals again we wanted them. I trust me. If we could have played them first or last, it didn't matter. We want that match back. I mean, I don't know. I I think uh, I think you're getting some PTSD from Sierra. Yeah, he's got a a, a vendetta against that team, but <laughs> I know I like to I like to mess with them a little bit. Um, but yeah, I, I think uh, it's about all I can think of. I don't know, Sana. You have your own questions <laughs> for your own captain. <laughs> No. Are you dropping it? You got any scrim bucks you want to drop? Might as well. I was last. Actually, fuck it. Drop it. Uh, I I dropped. Uh, what was it? Twenty two on the scrim on bind yesterday. I was top frog on our team. I thought you dropped thirty. Was it? Maybe. I don't remember. Uh, no. I was top fragging my team on uh, bind. Oh. We gotta ask, what prep are you putting in for the satchel work? <laughs> every day, every day I'm gonna custom working on that. So before I start my ranked games, before I even don't do my worry, warm -up, it does I'm not show. I'm, I'm, I'm practicing every day. I can't let that happen again. And, it's uh, gonna be embarrassing. What was uh, what what kind of prep do you work uh towards uh, dashing into button with an off? <laughs> Uh, you know, it's, um, <laughs> I, I have to yeah, ask. it's just kind of hard, you know, uh, <laughs> no, I, I think somebody must have changed my keybinds before the game oh, or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Clearly, clearly, that's, it's, it's all, uh, Woodrow trying to actually throw in the background. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> for sure. I mean, don't like, with the <laughs> I mean, half the time we're telling Woodrow to run, so. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Um, have, and then we have a compilation in the clip channel of us yelling at Fuchu to run. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Um, and I guess if we're gonna work on closing out the the podcast here, Zon, um, do you have any shout outs you want to make, Mini? Uh, I mean, I guess shout out to my team for putting in all the work they do every day. You know, like uh, wanting to constantly improve in ranked and wanting to work together and try and. Uh, develop new strategies and just overall try and uh, get better every single day so we continue to do the best because we know we are all right thank you for coming on and thank you for answering our questions and congratulations thank that you. you have made it into champions now thank you thank you thank you for doing the interview you turn this is so awkward we interviewed your own <laughs> 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 No, that's when you just glaze your captain for being so good. Come on, you got it. You got to work on the PR, Zon. Zon carried me that ascent game. I, I thought we were going to lose See, that. Mini Moth is doing your job here. Jeez. Look, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could be as good as I want, but that ascent game was something else, dude. I didn't know what I was on. Just replace the individual report from the. All right. The independent. This this body has been running long enough. We're we're over two hours. <laughs> Thank you, Mini Moss, for coming in for the interview. Thank you for having me. All right, and with that, 
uh, some cu a couple of announcements actually before I close this out. Um, mix of uh, C10, I believe. Yeah, mix design is getting a permanent sub in for uh, C10. They are picking up Loris. For yes, right yes. Yeah. Um, I actually just scrimmed against them uh, on Icebox. Don't take JG to Icebox. <laughs> that yep. man farms with an op. Right. And the second announcement, we won't be having the podcast next week. There's nothing to talk about. No games have happened. So. And I guess Wait we, until two weeks. We can also talk about, um, obviously, anyone who's actually seen the changes. Um, we are no longer doing a tournament next week. Uh, we are dropping from six ter weekly tournaments to four now. Um, and the champion stage has swapped from a group stage to a Swiss now. Wait, oh, among wait. other things, we're going to be streaming less. Yep. Yes, please. Wait, can we can we get a, a Hades two for an hour? Absolutely. <laughs> that'd be that'd be funny. <laughs> get pin, um, pin cast on. Pin cast. It, do we have any not news about like the Ooh, observer yeah. slash watch parting thing, or is that going to be later? There is going to be a. I'm sorry. I'm trying to remember what I'm allowed to talk about. I'm not. I'm not pulling a. Uh, what's his name? Um, dude who plays Spider Man. Tom, something. Oh, I can't think of his name. Um, there's gonna be a application. That's about okay. all I remember that I can leak. Uh, yeah. I just. I just. I personally hope that this is my request to anyone who is gonna be a server. Please record your matches that you observe. Please. I want to watch them. Please, and if you I don't beg. know how to, um, I can show you how to set up a YouTube clean feed. Ooh, I'm tiny. The quick and yeah. short of it is, uh, we will have apps for like streaming, watch partying the games, uh, uh, observing the games. We will also, it's not like a suggestion. We we will also kind of need you to record the games. It's not really like. Oh, I'll I'll spectate and then you know stream it on Discord. You kind of have to re record it too. I mean, in my opinion, we might change it depending on like most people's PCs, but for the most part, I think a majority of people will be able to record their games and uh, stream it on Discord. My thank you, Hayden. Um, and then in terms of other stuff, like Interatus was saying, we're not going to be streaming as many games. If it were up to me. We would stream every game as usual because I am, I have no kids. I am not, you know, I'm single and I'm under 30 and I have the time to do so. But that's not really the, f you know, fact for Pen Flash or Hooge or a lot of the people who work on Underpeel. So, you know, say la vie. That's how it is. Um, but besides that, uh, Underpeel should be running more than fine. We're just going to be doing it a little less. That's really it. Shut the yeah, fuck yeah, up. <laughs> um, oh, uh, big tip. Because all of you who are here are on under, er, in underpeel teams and may like show up in clear comms or in interviews, if you want to set up your icons like Interitus or me or whatever... You need to do so here because that's what the uh, website that I'm using to pull your image and your reactions from, and like all all the stuff down there. A lot of people here have just their default. You can keep. Uh, I think it's funny. Yes, please, please do. It. It's please uh, a lot funny. of people here. Um, what, what was I going to say? A lot of people here don't have anything set up, and you should because it's just like a square picture. And if you want that to be your picture, go ahead. You don't really have to change it, but I just want you to be aware of it. I had to ask Amber to make a closed mouth <laughs> like version of my PFB. So you I should ask Amber to give you a rendered image of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I should. Oh, no, no, no. Because the, the, the only image I had at the time was the uh, one with the background in... Uh, 
what's her, what's her Nudo was busy, so she couldn't. She was she wasn't able to give me the uh, rendered image in time. I have it now. I need to switch it over. Yeah. I just haven't. Ideally, you all use PNGs with the rendered images, so you're not showing a square background, or you're doing it intentionally, yep. like uh, Just Tired is doing, because you know, push up brimstone. But otherwise, there's no <laughs> no so other funny. notes for me. <laughs> yeah, no no podcast next week, but I mean, I can stream it. No production and talk about podcast, production, I guess. Yes. I find it all very it interesting. Hurt. I don't know how many people would, but I do find it interesting. I mean, if you, I'll be there. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, you can do your I'll jump on the podcast with you if you want to. That's a great answer. Close us. My God. <laughs> can we get an <laughs> ASMR for the entire <laughs> production <laughs> podcast? This is getting weird, but they don't. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> thank you all for watching. We will catch you whenever we do this again. I, after what, what? I don't even know what day that was. The seventh. Uh, the 13th. We'll be back on the 13th with the official podcast. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Goodbye, y'all.